I added Pokemon to Minecraft. First, I made Lugia. Let's remove his legs, and we'll make his body a lot smaller. Now, let's give him a neck. Now, finally, let's add the blue parts on his back. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Whoa, he is really big. Okay, I think he actually looks really good. There is one problem with him, though. He literally just doesn't move. It makes him look so menacing when he's flying around, though. Let's find Lugia in the nether. Oh, there's one literally right there. This is so weird, because normally Lugia would be found in the water. I guess this is a special Lugia, then. Let's spawn an army of Lugias. It's hard to spawn them because they're so big. Okay, I think there's a few too many Lugias around here. Let's catch a Lugia and a Pokeball. I don't think it's working. What about a Master Ball? Nope, still won't work. All right, I'm going to give Lugia a 7 out of 10. He can't move. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Quaxly. Let's move his body. Next, let's color him white, and we'll color his beak yellow, and we'll give him some eyes, and I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, something is wrong with his arms. Okay, that only made the problem worse. Okay, I don't know how to fix this. This is good enough. All right, his head moves really weird as well, but other than that, I think he looks fine. Okay, I'm lying. It's definitely not fine. Let's spawn a baby Quaxly. Okay, this is even worse. What is wrong with his head? I'm getting rid of this one. Let's see if I can catch Quaxly in a Pokeball. Okay, this joke really isn't funny. Let's spawn a Quaxly army and let's have them all follow me. I finally have my own duck army. Subscribe to join the duck army. All right, I'm going to give Quaxly a 5 out of 10. I like him, but he's too broken. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Magikarp. Let's make his body smaller and we'll color him orange. Now let's color in his fins and we'll color his back fin white. Now let's give him some eyes and that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I should probably spawn him in water. Honestly, I'm surprised with how this turned out. He looks really good. Let's spawn a Magikarp army. Is there a baby salmon? No, there isn't. I wonder if these guys will fight an axolotl. No, but the axolotl will fight them. Let's try to grow him into a Gyarados. Okay, this isn't working. I guess Magikarp is boring in Minecraft as well. I almost forgot the Pokeball test. This doesn't even make sense. How am I throwing snowballs in water? All right, I'm going to give Magikarp an 8 out of 10. He looks good, but he's boring. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Charizard. Let's color his body fully orange, and we'll turn these spikes into his ears. Now, let's color his head orange, and we'll make his mouth light red. Now, let's give him some teeth, and we'll also add his eyes. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. Although, I have no idea why he has two tails. He didn't even have a tail in block bench. Also, his neck looks different as well. That's so weird. Let's see if we can catch Charizard in a Pokeball. All right, it's not working. Charizard is probably more of a Master Ball type anyway. Okay, Charizard is perfect. Just imagine he is breathing fire right now. All right, I'm going to give Charizard an 8 out of 10. I think he looks pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Mew. Let's remove the legs, and we'll add a head. Now, let's color the head and body pink, and we'll add his legs. Now, let's add his arms, and we'll rotate his arms and legs a little bit. And I think that turned out pretty good. Let's see it in game. Okay, that doesn't actually look bad, but the eyes are off center somehow. Out of all the Pokemon I've made, Mew definitely looks the best. The sounds he makes is really weird, though. Let's see a baby Mew. Oh my god, it's literally so small. This is probably an accurate size for a B, though. Let's spawn an army of Mews. Okay, the sound has gotten way worse. What if I attack a Mew? Oh god, this is not good. The sound has gotten even worse now. It sounds like a tiny airplane trying to take off. Alright, I give Mew an 8 out of 10. It turned out pretty good. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Charmander. Let's delete his back legs, and we'll change his body shape a bit. Now, let's make his mouth look open, and we'll color the back of his mouth pink. Now, let's give him some eyes, and we'll give him a couple nostrils as well. Okay, that looks kind of weird. Let's see it in game. Okay, this just doesn't look like Charmander. I think this is the Digimon version, honestly. He looks kind of like the car insurance guy. And of course, the texture is broken in random places. Let's see a baby Charmander. I don't know why I always try to spawn a baby creeper. Let's spawn a Charmander army. Now let's see if Charmander can defeat an enemy Squirtle. Wow, this fight is amazing. Pokeball test. Nope. Let's see the supercharged Charmander. How is he burning? He's literally a fire Pokemon. This is probably the best the charge has looked on any custom creeper. Charmander, use self-destruct. Oh no, he killed the other charged creeper. Wait, that dropped a creeper head though. Alright, I give Charmander a 6 out of 10. He looks kind of strange. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Squirtle. Let's color his head and arm thingies blue, and we'll also color his legs. Now, we'll add a white outline around the shell, and I'll trace over the shell with different shades of brown. Alright, just one more color left. That looks pretty good. Now, we'll make his head a bit bigger, and we'll give him some purple eyes, and we'll add white to the outside. Next, let's give him some tiny eyebrows, and we'll give him a smile that doesn't look weird at all. Now, let's make his spirally tail, and that looks good. Let's see him in game. Okay, let me know if you guys see the problem. It's kind kind of hard to spot. I don't really know how this happened, so I guess we'll just ignore that. But other than that, he looks fine. How does the baby look? I was hoping the baby was the size of a regular Squirtle, because this guy is clearly too big. Alright, Squirtle army. Okay, I have to fix the floating thing. Okay, that looks a lot better. Squirtle, use Bubble Beam, or whatever move he has. Oh wait, I have to catch him first. Nope, the Pokeballs still don't work. I wish I had made him smaller, because right now he's bigger than Blastoise. Alright, I give Squirtle a 6 out of 10. He just doesn't look that good. 
It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Psyduck. All right, let's delete all this, and we'll just get rid of his eyes as well. Now, let's try to shape this into a duck, and we'll color it all in yellow. Now, let's give him duck feet, and we'll color them a lightish yellow. Now, we can give him a beak, and we'll color this the same color as his feet. Now, we can add some little arms on each side, and we'll make his lizard-like tail. Now, we can add the black tufts of hair to the top of his head, and we'll give him some eyes. All right, that doesn't look terrible. Let's see it in game. Oh my god, that actually looks good other than the walking animation. Okay, that might not be normal. To be fair, the walking animation would kind of fit him if it wasn't broken. Let's see a baby frog. Oh yeah, that's a tadpole. Let's see Psyduck eat a slime. Okay, the slime probably has to be smaller. Oh my god, that is so cursed. Isn't this an achievement or something? Oh, I give Psyduck a 6 out of 10. He's just too cursed. It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Pikachu. Let's color him fully yellow and we'll make his nose black. Now let's add his eyes and we'll give him his red cheeks and a little pink mouth now let's shrink his ears a bit and we'll color the top of them black and now we can add his lightning bolt tail and we'll move this there that shape looks pretty good now we just need to color it in and we'll make sure the bottom of his tail is brown that looks good let's see it in game okay he actually turned out pretty good look at the baby one look how small he is pokeball test why does it never work pikachu army one fox could ruin it all pikachu use thunderbolt oh what is he doing right now I just can't believe how small the baby Pikachu is. It's like a mouse. I give Pikachu a 10 out of 10. I mean, how could you not? It's time for the next mob. Next, I made Snorlax. Let's color him in greenish blue first. Now we'll change the shape of his ears. Let's make his face whitish. And we'll do the same for his belly. Now we can add his sleeping eyes. And we'll give him a smile with a couple of teeth. Now we can color his legs the same color as his face. And we'll add little brown circles to them as well. And now finally we can give him some claws and we'll color them white. I think that looks decent. Let's see it in the game. Yo, that actually looks pretty cool. And baby Snorlax. Yo, he's doing a roll. Ignore the missing texture on his head. Let's give them some bamboo. Apparently the small ones don't eat it. I don't know what you're talking about. The head is fine. I'm pretty sure Snorlax is supposed to be sleeping. We have to do a Pokeball test. Nope. All right, I give Snorlax an 8 out of 10. It would be a 10 if he could sleep. Time for the next mob. Next, I made Gengar. Let's delete his body and back legs, and we'll move his head down. Now let's color him light purple, and we'll add some tiny arms on the side. Now let's add the spiky parts on his head, and we'll give him some red eyes. Now let's draw his mouth, and we'll give him some angry eyebrows. And finally, let's give him some pupils. And I think that looks good. Let's see it in game. Okay, I don't know if that looks good or bad. I have no idea why his face is off center. Oh God, why does his head move like that when he's walking. Let's see if Ash can catch Gengar. Okay, I don't think he's interested. Let's see if I can catch Gengar. Nope, it's still not working. Let's spawn an army of Gengars. Okay, now Ash is interested in the Gengars. Let's see a supercharged Gengar. Oh god, they're all on fire. I don't know why I keep doing this. It never works. Let's see if Gengar can kill Ash. Yeah, I don't think that's what happens in the show. Alright, I give Gengar a 6 out of 10. I don't know why his face isn't centered.